Mega Mechatronics. All right, here we go. Uh, some of the first tests with the uh, battery quality check here. And we're going to plot some um, discharge voltage curves at a constant discharge of between uh, 34 to 35 amps. And uh, so we can start with the battery 12.8 amp hour, 7.4 volts. Uh, lithium polymer, uh, 40C uh, constant discharge and we got a couple leads coming off the balance wires to get the full pack voltage um, and we can actually measure full pack voltage with an Arduino <clears throat> so that signal is coming in from this uh, let's get this wire out of the way coming in from this orange lead and that's going uh, feeding a voltage divider so a resistor here and a resistor here and then to the UNO and uh, with a shield on there it's going into a analog input so the divider is about 3.13 times the voltage the Arduino is reading equals actual voltage within uh, 0.1 volts uh, with some consistency across the board to get a so uh, that's hooked to an Adafruit SD shield with a timestamp system to get more accurate time uh, 256 megabyte card and actually uh, we're piggybacking this is a, a slave uh, device here and that's going to control this solenoid unit so we got a, a knockoff nano and we're communicating I2C uh, with analog pins 4 and 5 on both units with uh, some pull-up resistors and so th those LEDs tell us that the solenoids uh, are off so um, this is recording the data which you see I'm accumulating here We'll get the test started here. And uh, this is the slave unit, and the slave unit controls the uh, discharge unit. So these solenoids are going to control a couple of relays over here. Those are parallel relays, so 60 amps uh, rated capacity. And we have some LED, uh, LED halogens across here, 20, 20 watt, 12 volt rated. Uh, so we're actually pulling between 280 watts to 250 watts and uh, we're measuring that with a turn energy watt meter with external power and uh, there's a PC power supply there that's been converted to a 12 volt power supply I believe it's 400 watts rated uh, that's just the battery charging another test here and uh, so we can get this started I'm not gonna reset the nano here. And that's going to turn the lights on. So you can see it turn on this, it fire this solenoid here from the white wire. Comes down here uh, to a resistor, um, 5 volts, 20 milliamps. So that's the resistor for that. And then uh, power and ground. And the thing, you got to have both of these on the same bus, 5 volt bus, so they're sharing grounds. Uh, the battery ground also ties back. Um, off the balance wire that lead comes down to this rail and, and these grounds are all connected on this breadboard. So you can see these are the pull-up resistors for that uh, I2C connection and then there's some feedback. This LED is just every time it records records a reading here and then this 13, LED 13 blinks and then of course when the test is done when we reach uh, the threshold that you can set I have it set at 7 volts 
it'll shut off the solenoids through on those red lights like you saw. So let's see how we're doing now. About 35 amps, 280 watts. Set this unit on. Oh. I recorded it right there, so we're good. 12.2 amp hours from the last test, we'll just uh, minus that. You can see this battery's uh, on constant voltage. So the current is dropping at 8.4 threshold. That battery's charging right here, being balanced charged. <clears throat> and this right here, this battery's uh, being discharged. We can check some temperatures here. Temperature gauge. So yeah, that, that's the uh, test bank right there. Do a max mode here. Take a temperature sweep. 108. Go back to max mode. See how hot this uh, connector is down here. 113. So it gets pretty warm. Draw on 30, 35 amps. Let's see how this is going. So, this is turning G meters reading 7.82. The Arduino is reading 7.95. And then I'll take my meter down here and see what this thing says. So my meter says 7.89, 7.90, so that's pretty close. And then the turnage, 7.75, so it's reading a little bit lower there. And we're directly off of uh, the balance leads there from the battery. Uh, that's where I was measuring with this meter. So, getting near the end of the run here. 86 watt hours, about 20 minutes. Drain this thing at uh, about 33 to 35 amps. <clears throat> Resist resistive load. And we're about to drop off here. And you'll see this uh, Arduino, that Nano, will take the signal from the Uno and uh, turn off that relay board. And it'll shut the lights off. So here we go. We're dropping off. We're going down. There we go. So this was after two balance charges, brand new battery. Twelve amp hours. Batteries rated at 12.8 amp hours. There we go.